our website is kgovkgov.com. We will put the audio of my conversation with Jack Horner, the Jurassic Park movies technical advisor, on the end of this show so you can hear the hesitancy and why they don't want to test their soft tissue T-Rex mine for carbon-14. Why not? Because they're going to find it. Hello, can I speak to Jack Horner? Um, yeah, who's calling? This is Bob Enyart with KLTT Radio in Denver, Colorado. That's Bob Enyart. Um, yeah, let me transfer you over to his office. I think he should be in there right now. Yellow. Hello, Jack. This is Bob Enyart with KLTT Radio in Denver. Uh-huh. How are you doing? Good. Jack, I sent a letter to Bob Harmon a few weeks back offering the museum a grant of $8,000 to do a carbon-14 day test of that soft tissue T-Rex you guys dug up. And he said he would forward that to you. And I'm wondering mm-hmm. if you saw that or considered it. Well, um, um. Carbon-14 doesn't is, work on something that old. I, I understand that, and normally we wouldn't expect to get soft tissue out of a T-Rex skeleton either, but sometimes science proceeds by crossing your T's and dotting your I's, and you guys might have other things you'd like to carbon-14 at the same time. In fact, in the last couple of weeks, I've been able to raise a little more money, so that's up to $10,000 now that we'd be honored to give you guys if you would consider doing that test. Well, we can't do that test. You can't do that? No. Do you mean the museum doesn't have the laboratory? We certainly don't. Okay, well, we're happy to pay the expense of having a lab do the test in addition to the $10,000 to the museum. Um, uh Do you know how carbon-14 works? Yeah, I'm familiar, and I realize it's useless for anything over maybe 50,000 years or so. But I've done a talk show in Denver for 15 years, and Mm -hmm. there's a group of folks interested in science. Of course, that discovery caught their attention, and they thought, well, it'd be logical to do this, to just go ahead and do it, even though nobody would be inclined to do it, just like nobody would be inclined to look for soft tissue inside right. of a T-Rex. Well, you know, and, you know, we're still trying to figure out what it is, what it's right. actually made of. Right, exactly, whether it's a hemoglobin or whatever. Well, you know. Uh, um, Jack, is the amount too small that it's just not worth the consideration? No, that's not it. Okay. Um, what if I were able to raise more money? No, that the amount of money has nothing to do with it. Mm-hmm. Um, because carbon-14 doesn't work on something like this, right? your results that you get could be all over the place. Well, they should be infinity. It should be not datable. In other words, it shouldn't come back saying it's 25,000 years old. Right. It should be infinity. And so well, that'll be a worthwhile... Well, infinity, infinity isn't exactly what you get. Okay. I mean, it's like like trying to date a piece of concrete. Right. You, you have to have carbon in it. Right. You wouldn't use carbon-14. Now, the skeleton is not fossilized. Isn't that true, or largely not? Well, it's, it's you know, the, the bone is made of calcium phosphate. Mm-hmm. Um, and... Um, like I say, we're still trying to figure out what the actual soft tissue is. Right. And see, we were hoping that a test like this would just add another bit of scientific information 
that mm-hmm. that you would have at your disposal. And also, in that grant letter, we asked if it could be a blind test with five different specimens, and therefore then the museum could test four other specimens that you might want to have carbon-14 dated, and so you could put it all in the same batch, and those testing then will pay the cost of that. That'll be free to the museum plus the $10,000 grant. Um, let, let me let me tell you where I'm coming from here. Sure. All right. Obviously, your group is a group of creationists. Yes. And and um, and the spin they can get off of it. Right. Doing it is. Well, not going to help. Not going to help us. Yeah. So even though it's just a scientific test, they're they're not well, asking it's, for it's voodoo. Not or a, anything. It's not actually a scientific test. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Carbon fourteen dating something with soft tissue in it. <laughs> Jack, if I could raise twenty thousand dollars, would it be worth? I will talk to Mary Schweitzer about it. Okay. okay. I appreciate that. And how about this? I'll resend you the grant letter with the amount of 20000 in it. And then you could talk to Mary and we'll see where it goes. I, I want to know what group is sponsoring it. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's, um, I, I, I mean, I need, I need some really specific details about. Sure. And don't just, you know, tell it to me straight. Of okay? course. I've hosted I've hosted a daily talk show for 15 years. We're on a 50,000 watt AM station KLTT. Mm-hmm. And there's a local church here, Denver Bible Church, mm-hmm. that's offered to help, but we also have pledges from any number of individuals in the Denver community. Okay. So we could if you guys agree, we could send you the check within 24 hours. Okay. Well, let me talk to Mary and okay. Let me just talk to a few people. Okay. Because I don't want to, you know, I can't afford to have it turn into a circus. Right. Well, I do understand that, and I appreciate your time. So, okay. I, I will see Mary this next week. Oh, that's fabulous. I'd be happy to call you back in two weeks from now. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Jack. You're very welcome. Okay.